So we're going to start with a tree diagram. So I'll give you an example. Say we're tossing a coin three times and we were recording all the outcomes. What are all the different possible outcomes we could get? Well, the way to answer this, one of the ways to answer this is using a tree diagram. So a tree diagram, you start with the different stages of your events. So the first toss has only two outcomes, a heads or a tails. The next toss, you can either get a heads on the first one and then another heads or tails or a tails on the first one and then another heads or tails. And it continues like this. For the third toss, you can have heads, heads, and then another two. So we keep doing this tree diagram, and then we notice at the end that we have eight outcomes. So it doesn't really look like a tree, but this is how you do the tree diagram. But there's easier ways. You don't want to have to draw this diagram every time you want to calculate the number of options something has. So we can do two rules, the AND rule or the OR rule. So the AND rule means that when you're doing a multi-stage event and the stages you're doing one stage and another stage and another stage, you multiply. So AND means multiply. So back to the example of the coin. We're flipping a coin and we're flipping another coin and we're flipping another coin. So we do the number of outcomes of the first one, two, times the number of outcomes of the second stage, two, times the number of outcomes of the third stage, two, 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8. So that's the AND rule. Now we also have the OR rule. So OR, when you see it, means ADD. So if you have the choices between a certain number of options or a certain number of other options, you add them up. So if you could flip a coin or roll a dice, how many options do you have? You have 2 for the coin or 2 for the dice. So 2 plus 6 equals 8. You have eight total options when you're flipping a coin or rolling a die. So we have a couple more examples. Let's say we're making a sandwich. We have three meats, four sauces, five buns. And when you're making the sandwich, you're gonna make, you're gonna have meat, and you're gonna have a sauce, and you're gonna have a bun to put it on. So what are the total number of options? Well, three times four times five. So the and means multiply. Now say you're buying a car and you have two options of picking your seat. You can have either five types of leather or you can choose from six types of suede. How many total options do we have? Or means addition. So five plus six, 11 total options. 